Coach Guido coming out with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support as always on this episode. Let's get frustrated, shall we? Kind of in the vein of Miserable Monday, but a little bit larger picture, taking a look at how frustrating this game can be, why it is, and then attempting to put it into perspective, right? Put it into perspective because you only win 47, 48, 52, 55. 60% of the time. If you're extremely good at 60%, that means 4 out of 10 games are losses. And some of those are extremely frustrating. Sometimes you drop a bunch of damage and you still lose, right? Sometimes you do no damage and you win. Even that can be frustrating. Like, how did we win? I didn't do anything. Well, somebody else did a bunch of things. So it is a frustrating game. I'll give you an example. We're here on Himmelsdorf. And I'm headed up here looking at this deployment and I'm thinking, well, here we go. <laughs> here we go. The one two line is full of herbivores in the paddock sitting back there. I have some guys coming this way, but for some reason the super chaffy is, well, maybe he is pushing up. He's attempting, but why, why am I ahead of the super chaffy? I don't know. I don't know. There's a T-29 and M-445. That's good. They're over there looking for shots. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. I get lit. That's no good. Let's back out of this. RNG works out, and it doesn't look too bad, but somehow we've already lost two scouts. They're dead. Super Chaffee is... I don't know what he's doing. He's decided to go somewhere else. KV-2's at least coming up here. The 1-2 line is doing nothing. Well, there's no scout. So they're all, all in a bush. T-29 has decided to run away. He has the stock gun, by the way. That was frustrating to see at the very beginning of the game. Not a lot you can do about guys. They have to they have to grind their tanks too, right? I take a big hit from the T-78. 269. Gets a nice high roll on me. That's frustrating. Here comes the KV-2. I'm, I'm watching this guy do this. I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> don't, don't go up there. I tell the one-two line they're going to have to try and play the game because we're, we're losing. We have, we have bad, we have a bad deployment. There we no no we didn't get any shots on him. That sucks. He doesn't seem to be too aware, so we're going to give him another shot. There we go. So we get some spotting damage. Maybe we can get another shot here. That's a miss. That's frustrating. Didn't get any shots on any of these guys. Oh, there we go. Finally, get one in. A little low roll at 119. That can be frustrating. No, it's just all these little things. Mostly RNG driven. Also random games and random team driven. Things that can get really frustrating. Now I've got a 4503. I'm looking at the big stack of guys right there. I'm looking at myself and this KV-2 and I don't still know what the Super Chaffee is doing back there to be honest. That's frustrating. And I already kind of have an idea of what's going to happen here. One, two lines and here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I see this 3001D. I know there's another three, I think four tanks up there, maybe more. There hasn't been anything going on the one two line, and I'm thinking I think I think I know what's gonna happen here. I have a good idea of where most of their tanks are, or at least the aggressive ones. And here they come. Ready to fire. So we get a shot on him, we're trying to follow him around. Maybe he's the only guy that comes out. Now we get another shot on him. All right, this is this is we can handle this. Oh wait a minute, what's going on back here? Oh geez, and another miss. The super chaffy rages in, gets a ram, and we kill him. Okay, good. That's not too bad. Uh oh, uh oh, auto loader's coming in. Oh, we're just look at that. Look how far back. Try to auto aim him, but that was a terrible idea right there. He gets some shots on me. Finally, get a shot on him. Here comes another guy. I miss him with another bad shot. At least I lit the 1357 on fire. There we go. Get a shot on. Uh-oh. Now we got this guy coming at us. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. <laughs> Missed by that much. Maybe one more shot of damage. There we go. 40 TP. Don't do it. No. One on him. Can't quite kill him. And boom. The 1357 I lit on fire but wasn't able to take out. And just like that, I've got 2,000 damage, 725 assist. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of their tanks over here. 
We killed one, I think. That's seven. Eight counting the Yardi, and the rest of them kind of sitting on the one-two line. It can be a very frustrating game. Let's get another example. So second example. The first example was my stupid team frustration, right? We've all had that one. This one is stupid RNG frustration in my T45 Skurda. We're here on Himmelsdorf, Ghost Town. Down goes a 12T. That's a good start, right? Killed one guy right off the bat. That seems uh, like a good start. You always want to get the first kill and hopefully things start to continue. Start to continue or continue to continue or something. See the Tiger 1. I like this corner over here. It's a good position, but it's hard to fight, especially if they send a good amount of tanks. You also start getting shot in the side, potentially. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But let's see if we can get some nice Sniperino shots. We're just going to... I don't know where that went. It didn't hit anything. It's... Oh, there's the Artie. Okay, that's frustrating. So I don't want to sit there. The 3 304 will bomb the snot out of me. So let's change what we're doing on that. Maybe I'll come over here where the super is, and we'll take on this, whatever's over here. Maybe we can actually swing around the side here. I got spotted doing it. I have no idea how. Maybe it was a proxy light, potentially, by the guy in the middle, the X3. Super Pershing's trying to figure out a way. Like, ah, let's do it, Super Pershing, you and me. No, oh boy. 525 pixel snipe from the TD way in the back. All of a sudden, I have half my hit points. That's awesome. Thanks, RNG. Maybe we can find this guy. He sneaks away. Falls off, so he's, he's no longer up on that ledge, so I don't have to worry about him peeking through the bush, at least until he works himself around. I don't want to pu pu push through there again, because there's an RHM pixel sniping from the back. Alright, so holy cow, let's go over here. We have one assist damage, guys. We've been at this for two and a half minutes, and I've only managed one assist. Here's all the targets. Let's go, let's go get these guys. Side scrape. Oh, that worked. Guy missed me. And. No, no, no. Jeez. They all got away. How did they all get away? <laughs> oh, excellent. All right. Things are looking up. We have 222 damage, 32 assists. Tank reloads pretty nicely, so we'll just shoot him inside for no damage. Oh, good. There's the KV2 who just dumped 275 with some kind of <laughs> sniper Reno through the crack. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe the Scorpion now. Scorpion would like to go hit somebody, but he doesn't want to take the damage back. I agree with that. I wouldn't want to either. Ooh, there's a 304. Let's kill him. Can we get to him? Oh, sweet. Kill shot. No. Total miss. Just into the... <laughs> frustrating, guys. It is a frustrating game when stuff like this happens. The Super pushes in, gets our attention, but of course he's getting swarmed now. Hit from every direction. I'd love to come around this corner, but I don't have any votes left. Only have 222 damage, but worse than that is 389 hit points. Maybe the tiger will go. No, he doesn't want to go. He's waiting for me to go take the hit. No, he decides to go anyway. He misses. I'm going to try to side scrape. Watch this. Here we go. Nope. Missed that guy. He gets by. <laughs> We've now been at it four minutes. And I have 222 damage, 387 assist. Tiger's hit. Oh, good. There's my buddy, the M44, who manages to find me. Takes another 32 hit points off of me. Oh, maybe the T43 will come out to where I can see him and we'll get a shot. No, P. No, yes, no. Oh, there we go. Crit, no damage. Yes. <laughs> Frustrating game, my friends. And everybody gets these games. Everybody gets these games. I do talk about how you can, and unfortunately, at that point, I was so frustrated, I just push in, looking for the damage. I'm hoping to out-reload this guy, and I do. So, took a chance. That was probably more risk than I should have taken, but it worked. Now I don't want to get bombed by the M44, so I back out. But we're up to a whole 342 damage, 404 assist. And frankly, some of that damage is purely because I got frustrated myself. Finally get another one in for 576. This is actually looking okay, right? I think we're in decent shape, but just watch how this game goes from here. Bunch of low hit point, guys. 
and they're going to start pushing into the enemy team that's bushed up and camping. There goes one of them, Chiri. There goes the Panther 2. There's a miss on the RHM. The Panther 2 is in good hit points. The RHM is on good hit points. All of us, more or less, are on bad hit points. Now, I should have gone the other way. There was no reason for me to go look for the Panther or the RHM. There's nothing I could do with them over here. They were going to outspot me behind those bushes. What I should have done is pushed up to the north and helped the 34-1 and the rest of my team with the Mod 1. Who cares if the RHM and the Panther 2 sit on this hill for a little bit? But unfortunately, I do dopey stuff like come down here. Ooh, well, you know, what am I going to do? I'm going to side scrape out, maybe get a shot. Then they're going to know there's a 108 hit point T45 sitting down here. There goes our super Pershing, who makes a Muppet move out in the open and starts getting annihilated. 54 Mod 1 is beating our guys up, and the advantage we had built, at least in guns, starts to evaporate. And I'm just driving around over here doing nothing. So, you know, the frustration of the game can often affect your gameplay and then you start making bad decisions off of that. If I had gone north, probably we beat this 54 Mod 1. He took out everyone that was up there, at least him and any friends he may have had. There's a Cromwell running around somewhere, probably out in the middle, out in the field out there, but somewhere in their spawn point, maybe in those bushes. And all of a sudden, we're down to three of us. And all that shooting, all that maneuver, all that effort has netted me exactly 576 damage and 404 assist. The best thing that can be said about this game is I managed to stay alive to this portion. Scorpion is about dead. For whatever reason, he pushes into a bunch of high hit point guys as if he's going to be able to take them all on alone. I turn around to try to help him. He actually ends up getting the RHM but the Scorpio, or sorry, the M44 takes him out, and now I'm now I'm alone, other than artillery. So I'm looking for a way to just somehow pull this thing out. Problem is, as soon as two of them find me, it's pretty much over. And I don't have any good ideas for where that might be. The Panther II takes out the Hummel, so he's probably up behind me, up on our ridge up there somewhere. They know I was last seen in the city. I'm not a very fast tank, so I'm not really going to get very far. Pretty much based on the coverage from where I can see their tanks are, or where I understand their tanks are, if I break out of this city in any fashion, I'm going to be seen pretty immediately. And there we go. He misses. I crit no damage. There you go. Frustrating. Again with the crit no damage. He can't quite get the shot he wants. Somehow I'm still alive. Would have been really nice to have got some damage on some of those. Catch him on the way by and boom. Dead guy. 775 damage, 404 assist, and almost, well it's eight and a half minutes. Eight and a half minutes of frustration. The game with RNG, with teams, with the dispersion, the way it's set up, just understand that you will have games like this. And I don't want to say there's nothing you can do. That I, I'm not a believer in the nihilistic, tragic view of I can't do anything. But the things you do will often come to naught in this pixel game. Don't get too worried about it. Understand that everybody has it happen. And it, like I said, it can be a frustrating game. I think part of the design of the game is the fact that it is frustrating, but when you have a good game, that's the hook, right? And it brings you back into it. So just take a look at what you did. Maybe there were some things you could do better in there to try to uh, ameliorate, is that the word, the frustration? To try to reduce the frustration as much as you can, but it's out there, man. It is a frustrating game. That's all I've got. We will see you tomorrow. Later.